Hey y'all, I'm back. It is still Monday, July 1st. I forgot to harvest. So, we're gonna do that real quick in between uh, rain showers. Alright? Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. And it's a beautiful morning. It rained twice again yesterday afternoon. And it seems like everything held up just fine. I had to come out here in the break of the rain and empty the buckets. And put them back in place. I haven't checked them again this morning though. Um, everything's doing really well in the garden. Um, I need to call the beast again. I need to call Audrey 2 again. The issue is, I mean, you can see if you look. Let's see if I can get you in there without going in the garden. You see the flower pods, right? There's too many leaves around them. So they're going to be blocked from pollinators. So, i got to call again. Sounds like call again, that commercial. Anyways, I brought the mango trees outside. Um, the poly one got too close to the window in the germination room and ended up frying. Remember I showed you before, its leaves were way smaller and almost more delicate than the monos. So, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it'll recover or not. We'll see. Um, but I need to make sure they get some water this morning. So I got the, uh, April and I got the, uh, moves him. Moringa seeds in soil yesterday afternoon. Um, we're working on that, and I thought I turned on the camera to show you guys what they look like and everything, and I guess I didn't because I didn't capture any of the footage. So, yeah, there's that. Um, that's it, that's all that's going on. I'm going to get back to digging some holes and um, hopefully get a few more done today and if nothing else expose the earth where 
I need them to go in case it rains again today. I'm not even sure if it's forecasted. I know yesterday we were only at a 20% chance for showers and we ended up getting it. Getting them twice over, so. So, first two are in. This one will be a post. The next one will be a post. Well, they're all technically posts, aren't they? Yeah. Forget it. Um, that's about it. Alright, y'all. Hope you have a blessed day. And, um, stay safe wherever you are in the world. Until we talk next time. Much love. Alright, I really hate doing this, but I'm going to put some water in this hole. Um, so, even with the rain that we got yesterday and it being exposed, the dirt being exposed, the water only went down about an inch and a half, maybe two inches at most, and now it's like hitting concrete. So, I'm going to put some water in there. Let it soak in. All right, y'all, I'm only gonna get that one done today. Um, these other holes are really, really dry. And I don't wanna waste water in order to uh, soften it up. So I gotta wait until um, this coming weekend, it says, according to the weather um, app that we have. It won't be raining again until um, I think it said Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. So that one doesn't look too bad. That's where that mum was planted. So that one I might actually be able to do. I'm just not sure. And then two more over here. So I pulled back all the mulch in order to expose the soil just to allow more absorption. Absorption when it does rain. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take a break and then probably go into the garden and call the Beast and Audrey too. Be back.
All right, y'all, that task is, gonna, is done. But I just wanted to explain to what I look at and what I'm doing when I call. So I not only want to get rid of the stems that are crossing over too far, blocking out um, the flowers from being exposed to the pollinators. Now granted, not all pollinators are flying insects. It's not just bees that pollinate. It's ants, it's beetles, all sorts of stuff pollinate your garden, okay? But when the growth of a plant is so excessive that they cannot even get in and find what's going on in there, you have an issue. And that's why this plant specifically keeps getting um, the non-pollinated fruit, which it looks like there might very well be another one right here. Okay? So, just trying to make sure that that doesn't happen over and over and over again. So we're going to keep up with the pollinate, or excuse me, keep up with the calling process. Did the same over here on Audrey. Only took out the areas that needed to be taken out in order to expose the flowers, pods that are starting to come up over here. So, all right, I think that's it for the day. And uh, just so y'all know, tomorrow is Costco Costco day for the month of July. So, we'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. Take care. Stay safe wherever you are in the world. And much love.